Alrighty, welcome back everyone. We have exported the low poly for the bake and the scale. We have exported the high poly and now it is time for us to bake. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my low poly and my bake. So if I come over here and select my bake low and drag it in, you will see it will load up, obviously facing the wrong way. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into my high poly. I'm gonna grab the high FBX. You can see it is a larger file. I'm gonna click it over. It'll take a second to load because it is bigger. It's not, sometimes it can handle gigabytes and still bake. It's not an issue, it depends on your software. Uh, this should load up in a couple more seconds. So in this video, we're gonna talk about creating a texture project assigning the material to the texture project and getting the mesh maps baked. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, but it's important that we set it up correctly. All right, you can see that we now have both the low poly in here as well as the high poly. And you can see here we have the bake low and the high, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. So the first thing that we need to do is over here in the scene hierarchy, there's a little loaf of bread, create new bake project. Okay, and this is perfect. In this bake project, we're gonna go ahead and choose the low poly back creature, go to low. We're gonna choose the high poly back creature, go to high. If I go ahead and click the bake project one, I can come here, there's a little folder, it creates a new bake group. We want two more, one for the teeth and one for the claws. The teeth low, teeth high, Claws low and claws high. Perfect, now this is all under one bake project so it'll bake into one map. You can see that the high poly disappeared. That's because it automatically uh, hides it. So if I go to the bake project, I can click low, high. So it'll, it'll take care of everything. So I'm gonna keep it the way it was. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, that didn't go into the high. That's good. So make sure that you, they actually fall underneath the correct folder. You can see that it didn't, but now it is. Perfect. So let's go ahead and go to... I haven't done this in a minute, so give me a second. There we go. We'll click it here. New texture project. Boom. So that's going to allow us to sync a material to this asset. Okay, so I'm going to go up here into the materials tab, right... Uh, just click here, it'll be a new material. I'm gonna go ahead and call this bat creature mat. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into this linked material. So when we bake, when we bake, this should transfer directly into here. Okay, so now we are good. And let's go ahead and with this assign, let's go ahead and assign that to all low so we got low low and oh that's not right and low right click hit apply that way that back creature mat is assigned so we can see it okay now we're here we can see we have curvature normal let's add some new maps let's go to um Metalness, roughness, specular. Nope, 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 nope. Cavity we want. Nope, no, that'll be for loading it. Okay. Back to bake project. Okay, perfect. Now we can configure here. This is what I wanted. Normal we need. Normal object we need. Um, position is something that we could use for uh, substance. So we'll click it. Cavity, thickness, ambient occlusion, and material ID. Perfect. We need to make sure that we click them down here there we go perfect uh, we're gonna up this to 4096 you don't have to you can keep it at uh, 2048 or whatever uh, size that you want I'm gonna go ahead and click samples and go to 64 get as much detail as we possibly can I'm gonna go ahead and select where we're going we're gonna go to tutorial textures bake textures I'm gonna call this mesh map save you can change it outside of photoshop but we're going to be editing some of the files in photoshop so it just makes sense um hidden meshes is fine uh which is important because it's already hidden them smooth cage yes uh marmoset is correct 
Okay, now we're looking pretty good here. This is exactly what we want. Texture, uh, texture, texture project link is important. So click here and texture project one. You, I could have renamed it, but we can leave it here. Texture project one. So now it is linked this bake to this texture project to that material. So when we make edits, it'll automatically update this material on the creature, which is important. So when we're texturing, we can see it and everything looks good. And if we just assign this material to a new model, like the scaled model that's facing the correct uh, position or when we pose the model, that is what it will automatically apply and we can still edit the texture. So it's super important that we do this. Uh, the last little thing that I wanna make sure that we do in here is inside the bake group, you can see we have teeth. You click low poly and you can see if we get real close, it's using a cage, uh, a cage on the mesh. So we can see that there's just a little cage uh, surrounding. And if these cages inter, in, like interlap, like right here, it will project some of this onto that. This is small, so it's not a big issue, but it can definitely become problematic in really tight spots. So we just want to double check and make sure we don't get any projection issues. Uh, so I can click low on each one of these. These are all by themselves. So we are good. As you can see, like this little uh, cage is actually clipping here. If we didn't have it separated into different folders, they would start to bleed on each other and that's not what we want. So the fact that we have separated them by mesh in these folders for the, under this bake project, it'll make sure that they don't get mixed up and project the wrong detail onto the other mesh. Okay, let's go to low for the back creature and make sure we are good okay we are looking pretty good right now um, we might have some issues here as you can see it's kind of garbly on itself so what we can do is we can actually come down here and paint an offset and this is going to work you can see it's, it's it's really hard to see but it's a little circle so what i can do is i can just slide this value and then we can paint on here and you can see that I'm shrinking the mesh a little bit closer to black will minimize the cage. Therefore it will stop, it will shrink it. So there's not as much overlay here. There we go. And let's see, we're going to have some in here. It looks like we got some, there we go. Make sure that we're cleaning this up. All right. I'm just making sure that we're not getting too, too much. And it's always easy, you can always rebake. So if it if it bakes incorrectly, that's fine. This is just guessing right here at the moment. Let's see, let's go into the tail and see how that looks. All right, let's shrink that up a little bit. Okay, we're looking good. Okay, we, we might have some issue here, but we will see. We'll probably have some issue up in the face because there's a lot of pieces. So let's go ahead and just give a little clean up there. Let's see, a little clean up here. There we go. Let's get just a little clean up, especially on the eyes. You can see it's folding over a little bit. There we go. And here is a place, little jowls like a bulldog. Good. Okay. And all you have to do is exit out and it'll save that. Perfect. Now we can go back to our bake project. We have all our things selected. I'm going to go ahead and save first because uh, sometimes Marmoset can crash. So let's go ahead into here and we're going to call this bat creature texture save. Okay. Perfect. Now all I have to do is literally hit bake. So we'll go over once more to make sure we're good. Tangent space marmoset is fine. Uh, tangent calculation orientation is fine for this purpose. For this purpose, let's see. We have our selection samples size and the project link. All of these are selected. So I'm going to go ahead and hit bake. This might take a little bit of time depending on how strong your GPU is. Um, it'll go through each of the maps and it'll give you a little uh, a little calculation. Uh, the lower the map is, the better that it'll go. You can see that it already assigned everything, so it is already baked. Um, you can hit this preview button, which will preview it. But since we had the texture already uh, assigned to the project, 
and in here it automatically assigned everything in here and we are just going to go over this real quick to make sure that we are looking good so we can see right now that our uh, ambient occlusion is pretty heavy uh, on here you can see the occlusion is pretty heavy and you can see that our diffuse cavity is pretty crazy here too okay um so before we actually jump in to start texturing this thing let's just go over this model real quick and make sure we don't have any errors looks like we got a little bit of bake error on the ends right here we can edit that in photoshop all right let's look between the toes make sure we don't have any projection errors so what we're looking for here is let's say if this piece was projected over here um, same thing like on the face if I look in here you'll be able to see parts that don't look correctly especially in the normal map uh, all the maps will kind of blend together so let's go ahead down here go to cavity let's turn specular cavity to about eight which is fine and diffuse cavity let's get rid of that completely okay you can see we have a little bit of ambient occlusion it's just self shadow okay and we will edit what we need to but let's see this is looking like a pretty solid bake I'm pretty happy with it um, we got a little bit of issues here I'm surprised the wings actually baked as good as they did usually with something thin there's always uh, there's always issues but this is looking pretty solid so I'm gonna go ahead and save this this was a successful bake you can see we have a little bit of issues that we need to correct like right here and right there which is fine but that will be the uh, the next uh, episode will be mesh map edits to make sure that we can edit all of the uh, the problems let's go preview cool oh, it looks like it actually corrected itself with getting rid of that cavity map so we might not have to edit that as much but nope, we are good that was a successful bake that looks good I'm happy with it we will go into the uh, file set up next to bring the actual properly facing creature in with both sets of claws and we will bring the material over and we will edit the mesh maps and we will start texturing so thank you for stopping by and i'll see you in the next video